Okay, here's another common case that you're going to run into. Here's an old amalgam, and it's wearing out. You got caries on the uh, cuss tips around the amalgam. It's defective. We want to replace that. What are we going to do? Well, you should know the answer by now, I think. We're going to take some red wax, and with your eyes closed, you can just rub it on the tooth with your gloved finger. The red wax gets caught in the defects, in the marginal defects around this amalgam. Now your margins are filled with red wax. We now make a custom matrix. Here we are injecting the material onto the occlusal surface, and again, you don't want to touch the wax if you can avoid it, because that'll change your uh, surface in that area. The wax is soft. Here you can see it, and again, I don't know whether I use a mylar strip in this case or not. Yes, here we go. Here's the mylar strip to create a flat surface. We remove the old amalgam, put in bonding resin, put in our composite. We force the clear custom matrix into the unset composite, put the flat end of the light curing bundle on the flat surface created by the mylar strip, put pressure on it, and cure the composite through the clear custom matrix. This is untouched. You can see we have some flash here on the lingual. The other margins need minimal, if any, finishing. The surface is hard and smooth since there was no air inhibited layer. Consequently, there is no polishing. The dentist and patient save five to ten minutes of chair time. Here's the final restoration. It needed minimal finishing and no polishing due to the use of a clear custom matrix that restricted the oxygen from the surface so we have no air inhibited layer. This ends up saving the dentist and the patient five to ten minutes of chair time. I'd like to now talk about some clear custom matrix materials that I've used. So here are some of the materials. I've used every one of these materials. Every material is a polyvinyl siloxane bite registration material. It's not made for this technique. It's made for making bite registrations. And so they can't charge any more for this than they do for any other bite registration material because most of this material is sold as bite registration materials. I'm using like a millimeter or milliliter or two of this material to make what is called a custom matrix. And I use that custom matrix to reform my composite. So just some examples of some of the materials that are made. These are in your handout. And I don't push any one of the particular materials. They all work. I would pick one with a short working time because you don't need a long working time to take this type of impression.